Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Wiki. Welcome to the Origin Game 2 Punish Preview by Wiki. Look, I'm going to roll through this one really quick. There's a really good World Cup cricket game in the background in West Indies, South Africa. Um, and with the Origin stuff, my uh, the article with all of our content in there and the odds comparisons, all the stuff that you guys have all seen before. So I'm going to roll through it real quick. Um, but obviously on our Discord, we've got almost 5,000 people in there. Origin, I'm recording this at Monday around 12.30 p.m. Origin's, what, two and a bit days away? Um, yeah, I'll put in our multi for the day in the Discord. There'll be a lot of chat close to the game, so we'll catch you on there. As always, guys, Google Wiki Linktree. Um, all this stuff you see at the moment, because I'm recording the pod earlier in the day, we haven't updated it, but all of our Origin stuff, so our article preview, the podcast that I'm doing now, um, the odds comparison tool for Origin, and Women's Origin. We've got picks at the bottom of this article for Women's Origin try scorers. And we've got a women's origin odds comparison tool. So you see all of that stuff over here. Um, just quickly on our Discord, we've also got a super coach and NRL fantasy channel. So if you want to chat about that, we do an NRL fantasy article every week. I do a super coach pod every odd week with Oven Talks and NRL Super Coach. And if you're into your AFL, we've got the AFL odds comparison tool and player, we've got disposal as well. Actually, it's a really good tool. Check it out uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Wiki Premium, we're finally flying. We had a shit round this week, but before that, five weeks in a row, we had some ridiculous picks get up. But you also saw the, saw these picks get up in the article. You saw Plath at 81s only a week ago, Cook at 41s, and Little at 17s. Anyways, guys, let's get into Origin. Game two, Origin. I reckon this, like, before game one, I was like, Queensland's going to win game one. I was pretty confident. So this is going to keep distracting me. Oh, this is going to be a cracking game. Anyways, so Origin game two. Um, it's going to be a close game, I reckon. Uh, I think the Blues actually will win this one. So in game one, I was thinking, I had all these tactical reasons and all this stuff about the uh, the Maroons winning. And then seven minutes in, there was a Blues send off. And it was like, bang, bang, game over. This game, I reckon if you had, like, I know a lot of people from what I say just, hunt multis and stuff so if you're one of those then I, I won't bother talking about that stuff but if you one of those people who punt on rugby league I'm going to say it properly and you've got an opinion you bet on the lines totals results whatever you want to do um I reckon don't shy away from your opinion in game one like like for example if you thought the blues were going to do well um I wouldn't let the game one result talk you out of that I think like a there's a few team changes B, there's a send off in the seventh minute. You're playing with 12 people. Just you almost disregard what happened in game one, in my opinion. Um, but getting to this game. So again, before game one, I was thinking, oh, Maroons, like that, that, that blues team, I just did not think was good enough. So I definitely favored the Maroons. Also, like the blues in game one with all these team changes, when the Maroons have now had a couple of seasons, or they've had a couple of years in a row winning the series as well. Um, so I just favored the Maroons for so many different reasons in game one. Whereas game two, I reckon it's the other way. It's um, it's the, the Blues now have had like a second week and a bit preparation. So they'll like, if any team is going to improve, it really should be the Blues because they've got like a few more days together in camp. They've also got Latrell Mitchell. I'm going to be talking about Latrell Mitchell quite a bit, but they've got Trail Mitt back. Um, and a couple of other chains like Mitch Moses has played really well in Origin games before. Um, and Dylan Edwards, who's the fullback that they actually wanted, um, <laughs> which sounds cruel, not trying to be cruel at all, but it'll be really interesting to see how the Blues play and definitely favour them. Uh, I, don't, I don't think they're going to win easily, but um, yeah, definitely think they're a much better team than in game two. And it's just like like with Origin, it's, you, you kind of sometimes have to put away or, or sort of disregard what you think um, and just realize that it's extremely close. Like over the, if you obviously forget about those eight years in a row where Queensland had like a few immortals in their team, um, Origin's always close and I reckon it'll be one all and we'll head to the side up at Suncorp. All right, guys, I'm going to get into my try scorer picks. Um, I'll rattle them off first. So Lindsay Collins, first try scorer and last try scorer, both separate plays at 67s. First try you can find on 365 Neds and Tab. Last, I think you can find on 365 and TAB. Tom Dearden, 34s, FTS and LTS separate on 365. Sua, first, second, or third try. You can hit score any of those. Uh, and that's paid 15s on Sportsbet. Cam Murray, ATS at 9s on 365. And Trail Mitt, ATS at 270 on Dabble. So obviously, Collins is my roughie, but I love that 67th price. I wouldn't touch that at 51s or less, guys. 
Dearden is just because he's 34. He scored the first try um, in his career, one every about 10-ish games, right? So the price would be about 10 if he just went off his career. I get it. It's origin, et cetera, et cetera. But 34 is just insane for him. Sua, that's like saying four, that's like saying 45 for first try scorer, like a 15 times three is 45. And he's priced at about the 30 or low 30s on most bookies. So again, crazy value. So these are the two that are just insane value. And sorry, and Cam Murray. If you look at his career, he scores a try every four and a half-ish games. And you're seeing almost double that. I know it's origin. You'll probably get less minutes than club games, etc. But these three, Deed and Sua and Murray, are like the clear value plays. Uh, and Collins is a roughie. I explain why I like him in the article. And Trail Mitt is one where it's like, if you're a Blues fan, you're going to want to get on Trail Mitt in some way or another for this game. Um, and I don't like getting on any time price scorers. I think like the Murray one, I think is, because for me, it's about value. I don't want to be getting on something just because I think it'll happen. I think that's a, that, that I genuinely think that I don't like that as a way to punt. For me, the price has to be higher than what I think it should be. And the bigger that gap is, the harder I go, which is why I love stuff like Deirdre and Sua over here. And Murray, if uh, if I could, <laughs> I'd, I'd go huge on that. But um, yeah, Troll Mid is like, if you're a Blues fan, you want to put him in your multis, you want to look for some fun bets on him, first try scorer, et cetera. But yeah, I think he's a great bet. Anytime try scorer, the Blues will want to go to him. Anyways, I've written about why I think these are... Um, these are good plays over here. Um, the odds comparison tool, guys, if you click through, you'll see it here, for example. Uh, I won't talk through this much in too, uh, in too much detail, sorry, because you guys know the drill. So you, you see that there's a bunch more bookies on here and there's a bunch more markets. Um, I always talk about it, but if you're keen on Wiki Premium, the premium odds comparison tool comes for free. Um, to all the stuff here, what is Wiki Premium? And if you want to sign up to Wiki Premium, all the links are on our link tree, guys, as always. Um, but if I go through, so the normal premium tool, we kind of open it up for free for Origin, by the way, just to be really clear. Um, but the way you kind of use is first try scorer, you only want to look at the guys that are obviously starting. Market value helps you figure out any bookie mistakes. So I don't think Jaden Saw is going to last at 41s because if he did, I'd tip it. But yeah, 41s, when I updated this tool around midday on Monday, insane. Pain Hearts at 61s looks all right as well. Um, and yeah, as you can see, Colin's really nice over there. Um, you can do a bunch of other things. So you can look at first, second or third try and do the same thing. Market value to pick out. Market value is when one bookie has it way higher than the other. So the higher the number, the better. You can see how he's 15s here, but it's only $11.50 here. So Sewer's so like the standout first, second or third play in terms of value across different bookies. Player of the match. Uh, you could do this here, but... I think like, yeah, with player of the match, everyone tries to like hyperanalyze player of the match. I think the way to go is just like, go with your favorite player, who you think will have the most impact, which team you think will win, one of their gun players, et cetera. Don't, don't overthink it. So my style is obviously value. So I try to pick out value plays. But if you love your footy, you probably love one of these two teams, right? Most rugby league fans are going to be a Blues fan, they're going to be a Maroons fan. Just pick one of your favorite players from those teams. Don't overthink it. Have a fun punt on it. Don't, um, don't go nuts with it. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Play around with the odds comparison tool, helps you find uh find the best price. Always remember that it is free um for NRL as well. So we've got a more basic version of this stuff for free. So you'll see it here first and any time. Um, and then you can play around with stuff for NRL games as well. Cool. Um, let me get back into it. So the same gamer, I'm probably gonna do two. I probably put them up like a couple of hours before. Uh, the game starts on our Discord. As I said, our Discord is free. We're, I think we're at like 4,750 people on there, which is nuts because the start of last NRL season, I think we're at like two or 300. <laughs> so uh, yeah, join join there if you want to see our Samuel Maltese. As always, I tell you guys, it kills me when, when everyone just bets Maltese. I don't understand. It's basically like playing pokies, but you're betting on sports. Horrible value long-term. Always good for a little bit of fun, but that should not be the main way that anyone punts. Extremely frustrated that people continue to do that. But yeah, you can't change everyone's minds. But um, if you are going to get on same day multis, try to find some value or like, you know, make sure you at least check two or three different sites or apps before you get on them. Because some of these prices that people put up for same day multis are an absolute joke. Anyways, uh, I'll put ours up. I'll put one for one pro Maroons, one pro... Um, one pro blues, and we can obviously ride that together, which would be good fun. I'll put them on here. 
Um, let's get to the fun stuff. So player of the match, as I said, guys, I put up a few. I, I try to, yeah, I've tried to go with two Maroons options and two Blues options. Um, as always, I try to go for a little bit of value. There's no point me tipping like Brees Walsh and Mitch Moses. If you if you like them, get on them. That's uh, what I would do is just do this. Sort by the shortest odds. Um, if you want to get on one of the favorites, it's pretty easy to be honest. Like, I think like if you if you like Queensland, like I think Walsh and Cherry Evans, like you know the experience, like captain, maybe in his last series, that, that whole storyline is obvious. Walsh, you know, great in the first two games last year. Missed the last game, was it because of suspension or injury? I've forgotten now. Last season, and then got knocked out seven minutes of this one. He could blow a game apart in ten minutes and win win the uh, player of the match. So. That's really obvious. But what I've tried to do is muck, uh, not muck around, but like find some value. So you'll see two of my guys here pop up in the value list. So um, Nanai at 51s on 365 for player. Of the, sorry, I'll rattle these off in, in a row. My four player of the match tips, Nanai at 51s on 365, Collins at 41s on Neds and Betright, Trell Mitt, Latrell Mitchell, 15s on bet right, and Brian Toa at 61s on points bet. Um, I'll start off with these two, um, the New South Wales guys. I've written about it here. Obviously, you can see it on us on your screen. Um, I think with Latrell, he's my one. So, like, he's the shortest priced uh, pick of the, the guys I've went with. I think with New South Wales, it's kind of – it's pretty easy to see New South Wales winning – one of the new guys, Latrell, Edwards, or Moses, having a big impact on the game. I think the thing with the Blues is, like, it's kind of hard to see the Blues winning, Trell scoring a try, maybe assisting another or whatever, and, like, not not at least being in the conversation for player of the match, which is why I like that $15 price. I think another one or two sites have him around 14s. So regardless, I just really like that price. The other one, I've been doing this article for since about 2020, early that season. So I've done, this is my eighth origin preview that I've written. And I reckon every single one I've gone with to all for player of the match. Um, the reason why I like him and I've written about it here, he, he gets like 200 or more run meters every single game. So he's going to get the run meters. And if the Blues do win... Who's the who's the winger outside trail mitt? It's Brian Toor. So, like, I think the, the situation that I'm putting forward is you obviously need the Blues to win. You need him to score a try at least. He's going to rack up his 200 meters. And then if he can just get that second try, or maybe, like, Trell sets him up for a line break, he makes a line break and then passes back inside for Trell or Luai or whatever to score. Like, that really gets him up in the conversation for player of the match. Like obviously the the uh, the people who decide the medal would all, all, always want to go for like a Trell or a, a Moses, etc. But I just think to all that high sort of 50 plus price range and he's 61s on points, but in top sport, I think at the moment is just too good a value. And I've tipped him, I think all eight origin games that I've written a preview for. But yeah, those are my blues picks, guys. For Queensland, it's pretty easy for me. Again, Walsh or Cherry Evans, obvious picks. If you really like Queensland and they're one of your favorite players, go for it. I'm looking for value. And the value that I'm seeing is Collins. There's no Tino. There's no Gilbert. There's no Blegler. Him and Carrigan. Like, obviously, Carrigan is scary because he's the guy that they just love giving these medals and, and awards to and, and could fully understand why. But I think Collins at 41 is like one or two levels too high. Like I think he should kind of be in the 20s, maybe around 30-ish. 41 is just clear value to me for the role that he plays for that Queensland team. He won it last year as well in game, oh, I'm going to say game two, but he won it as a middle forward off the bench. He was incredible last series. He was very close to the Wally Lewis, I'd say. And I've tipped him for the Wally Lewis at 34s, I think, from memory, or 41s maybe. Um, and my other one is Nanai. So I think like, Again, I think that if everything, like no injuries, no HIAs, et cetera, I reckon New South Wales win in a close one. And I think Troll Mitt is going to have the biggest impact on this game. But if not, I reckon if Queensland win, again, disregard DC and, and Walsh as like the, the favourite, I think the value is on Nanai. Nanai's got so many different ways of scoring. He can, he can uh, chase grubbers. He can leap for bombs. He can run great lines. And if you notice in game one, he played 80 minutes and Sua only played 53. So I reckon if Nanai gets 80 again and Queensland win in a close one, I really like the options here of like, if it's a really low scoring, tough game two and Queensland win the series, Collins gets rewarded for his hard work in a close game. 
or if it's like, you know, a little bit of a blowout, like Queensland win like 28 to 12 or 28 to 16 or 18 or something like that. I reckon Nanai needs like a try and maybe like a one more explosive play. And Nanai is like a nice little roughie to have in in your hip pocket at 51s uh, on 365. So anyways, that's my sort of mini preview of the player of the match options. Um, I've done left free right now, so I may not talk through the whole thing, but why I wanted to show this off, remember we do this for every single round of the NRL. So just very quickly to show you guys. Oh, there you go. Right, there you go, sweet. So if you don't see our stuff every week, we do this. So we try to break down where, uh, which side all the players are, Just and, and I do a little bit of um, stats and analysis on where I think players will score as well. So um, getting back to this, guys, uh, what I've basically said over here is I reckon the right, like, again, I'm mainly disregarding game one because there was a play shot for the Blues for most of the game. Obviously, Hammer went to full back and they just killed it on the left edge because the right centre was Sawali and he was missing. But let's just regard that for now. A um, couple of trends I've gone for here, guys, is Trail Mitt. I reckon he's going to have a huge impact. Everyone does. Um, if you think that, obviously, that's an area to, to look for in your, you know, your multis and your try score picks, your player of the match, et cetera, which I've already done. Um, the other one is I reckon I really like the fact that the Blues have strike on both sides. Um, so Crichton's been in great form for the Bulldogs. He looks really, really good. He's on top of his game. And he's got Lomax out of, outside him. And he's arguably been the best outside back I say arguably, um, like non-spine player in the comp this year, super high on confidence. So you know Cry and Lomax are going to be really active in attack. And every time Troll gets the ball, everyone is going to be holding their breath seeing what happens. It's going to be super, super exciting. So they're my two sort of areas to look for an attack for uh, for the Blues. Um, and for Queensland, I go back to that man, Nanai. I reckon Nanai is huge. So um, I think... Like, he has Townsend next to him at Clubland, and there's nothing against Chad Townsend, but obviously he's in, you know, the later stages of his career now. But still, Nana is a beast at attack. He's got Cherry Evans in um in, in origin, and look at, like, the job that Cherry Evans does for Homole Olokowate, uh, Olokowatu, sorry, in, uh, well, for, for Manly. So I just reckon, like, I look at this team, and, like, there's obvious, like, you know, Reese Walsh in attack, wow. <laughs> like, I don't need to speak about him. Like, you know, because if you consume, uh, you know, Fox Sports and like a lot of the podcasts and stuff, um, like they're, they're all going to focus on DCE and Walsh and, and all the main stuff, right? You don't really need me to talk about that. I'm trying to look for some alternative angles. Um, and I reckon Nana is the big one for Queensland. Um, I won't talk about this, guys, because obviously it's not up yet, but one of like one of our team members at Wiki follows um, women's, women's footy really closely. So we... Um, we'll, this is the decider, it's one all in this series. So we'll put up try score tips and player of the match and we combine a couple of his anytime try score picks into a multi, which will be on our Discord as always. So check that out on um, on Thursday or just obviously come to the bottom of the article. I'll have that up probably by Tuesday, but the multi will be out on our Discord on Thursday. Um, but I think that's it, guys. Um, hopefully I've tried to make sense of how to use our it's comparison tool. It's all free. There's an explainer article on our link tree up the down the bottom somewhere helping use the odds comparison tool um yeah as always it's all free got our preview with absolutely everything in it the odds comparison tool if you go to wiki link tree you can join our discord and chat oh this podcast i'm doing now will be over here so good luck part responsibly um i think just as a footy fan i'm going to go for new south wales and uh and hope that they can make it go to a decider but uh most importantly i hope Lindsay collins scores first <laughs> good luck guys part responsibly enjoy the game we